this is Dr. Sarah Renee Langley, and I am here to help you to learn how to live, love, and lead a life without limits. So let's talk about this. The power of worthiness. The power of worthiness. Let me ask you a question. How worthy are you? How much do you feel worthy? How would you rate your worthiness? On a scale of one to 10, one being low, 10 being high. How much do you feel that you are worthy to have whatever it is that you desire? Did you know that that is where it starts for you to do, be, and have anything and everything that you desire and more? It starts with the power of worthiness. I tell this to my clients, especially those who struggle with worthiness, because they can talk about all the reasons and justify that they don't deserve certain things. They're not worthy of it because of their past, because of their mistakes, because of their failures, because of mishaps, because of life just throwing anything and everything their way that they didn't want. Except that here is the thing. When you think that you're not worthy, then life will show you just that. When you think and believe that you are not worthy, then you will absolutely get the things that you do not want to get. Here's why. I created this concept. I'm an acronym gal. So I came up with this concept called DAP, D-A-P. I'm going to talk about it. D stands for decide. For you to now get to a place of feeling worthy, you have to decide that you are without even having the justifications or reasons to believe it other than it is your birthright and you are deserving to be worthy. But you have to decide it. And how do you decide? You look at what is it that you desire to have that is a positive so that you can attract more of that. And even when there are no signs, you got to trust the process that when you have decided that you want to be worthy, you want to, and that you are worthy of anything that you desire to have in your life, the more that you start to shift your focus, shift your energy, remove the blocks and the limitations to now stand on with conviction that you are definitely worthy, you have to be able to move from the D, decide to A, association. You have to find reasons. Just as much as you found reasons to justify that you weren't uh, worthy, you got to now find justifications and associations to conclude that you are worthy. Think of times that things did go your way. Think of times that you did actually believe that you were deserving of that job, of that raise, um, of that house, of, you know, more happiness in your life. It doesn't have to always be tangible. It can be intangible as well. That you were like, I, I deserve more joy. I am worthy of more happiness, more joy, more laughter, more love, more peace of mind. When you start to believe it, when you start to associate opportunities, ideas, situations, um, examples, instances that you have experienced where you felt worthy and you focus on that more, you start to attract towards it and you start attracting it to you. And then finally, P, so D, decide, A, association, P, practice, put it to practice. Now, this, you know, things don't change overnight because you've known more of not feeling worthy than you did in feeling worthy. So now we have to build that up just as much as you built up all the justifications of feeling unworthy. We now have to shift you and your mind and your focus and your energy and your attention to now feeling worthy and put it to practice on a regular basis. And when you fall down, get back up. It's okay. Trust the process. Don't beat yourself up if you don't get it overnight or if you don't get it in one week. You stick at it until it becomes that which you desire. The power of worthiness. You are worthy. Affirm that. Say it to yourself. Have it written down all over your, wherever you frequent the most to remind you that you are worthy and that you are. Thank you so much for your time.